Hey everybody, welcome to the Necrodemic game tutorial. I'm NFT Calf, head of community and growth at Believers. I will be walking you through the gameplay today. I'll give you the tips and the tricks, the do's and don'ts, and everything that you can do to get your score as high as possible and climb the leaderboard. If you have any questions following this video, please feel free to visit our Discord in the link below. One of our team members will help you out. We hope you guys do your best, enjoy Necrodemic, and let's get started. All right, everybody, welcome to Necrodemic. This is the main loading screen here. Uh, you will see a number of panels along the top. The only important ones at this moment really are the home screen, which brings you here, and the leaderboard. Uh, none of these other ones really do anything quite yet, but they will soon. When they are enabled, we will create uh, future videos to explain their functionality. So what you see on the home screen is on the right side, most importantly, the competitions panel. If you want to practice, self-explanatory, make sure you press practice. Practice will show up on the bottom left under the start button here. However, if you want to participate in the tournament, like the ongoing Nightmare on Merit Circle, make sure you click it. Make sure your score is counted and make sure it's under the start button. If you want your score to count for the tournament, I cannot stress this enough. It must be in the correct panel. So if you do a nice run on practice, it's not going to count. It has to be selected in the tournament so your score is counted. All right, let's take a look at some of the different enemies that you'll see when playing Necrodemic. So First up is the Undead Zombie Bear. This is the standard enemy in the game. So you'll see a lot of these. Um, yeah, basically it's, a, it's an Undead Bear Zombie. It's pretty standard. They'll walk and kind of run at you and hit you with their claws. They do a pretty decent amount of damage as you can see below. But you should be able to kill them uh, without much difficulty. Aim for the head. All right, guys, let's talk about the Howler. So essentially, the Howler is a very slow moving enemy. They shouldn't really be able to get near you and hit you to do some damage. If they do, it's not much damage. Really, the focus of the Howler is to enrage the other zombies, the other enemies. So when they howl, when you hear, you'll see them howl, you'll hear it. They'll be covered in the red flash like you see right in front of you. Basically, this enrages the other enemies. Now you see the other enemies are running at you faster with more more damage. You want to make sure you kill the Howlers, even though they won't do much damage to themselves. They'll enrage the other enemies, which will make your experience a little bit more difficult. Make sure you get on these quick. All right, let's talk about the Jumper Hounds. Now, the Jumper Hounds might not look like much, but these guys can do a lot of damage and sneak up on you pretty quick. They're lower to the ground. They do bark, so you will be able to hear them coming. You'll be able to hear their footsteps. But they are very fast. If you just back up and you're not running, they will be able to catch up to you, especially if they're enraged. So make sure that you guys get on these quick, but they should be pretty easy for you to kill. All right, let's talk about the Charger. Now, the Charger is my least favorite enemy and likely the least favorite enemy of yours. These guys are pesky. You'll hear them screech. They're going to run at you very fast. And when they get into close proximity, they will explode. They'll release an acid that will burn and cause damage for a number of seconds. They do a lot of damage. 
if you get hit by multiple of them at a time, you likely will die. So what you want to do is make sure you keep... The skeleton. Let's talk about the skeleton. They make kind of a nasty zombie sound. You'll hear them from a mile away. They kind of hiss at you. But the trick with the zombies is, you, or the skeletons, excuse me, is you have to shoot them in the head. The skeleton enemies have to be shot in the head for them to be defeated. They're decently fast. They will do quite a bit of damage if you get close with that nice hook they got there. So make sure you shoot these guys in the head. Get them done quick. Okay, let's talk about the Loot Goblin. Now, the Loot Goblin is very, very tricky to find. There's a very low chance of the Loot Goblin appearing in-game. Won't do any damage to you. Does have quite a bit of health, so if you do find him, you'll have to take a number of shots, probably unload a full clip of ammo into him to defeat him. But what he does is give you a massive amount of points if you kill him. So if you do get lucky enough to hear the Loot Goblin screech, you can run around the map and try and find him. He will be indicated by a smaller blue beam of light, similar to the one above uh, Sticky Nicky's Emporium. You'll want to defeat him. He'll give you a ton of points, but he won't do any damage. Best of luck finding the Loot Goblin. Ooh, Loot Goblin. The first time I ever heard it. Where is it? Did you guys hear that? How, how do I find it? How do I find it? I've never seen the loot goblin. Is he randomly on the map somewhere or what? Does he go away after this round or what? Oh, is he over here? Oh, oh my god, it's the loot goblin! Ah! Let's go! Let's talk about Sticky Nicky. Sticky Nicky is one of the main characters of Necrodemic. Basically, Sticky Nicky is the necromancer that is causing the undead to rise. He is out to get you, but in a sense of irony, he is also the one selling you your weapons in his store. He has quite the economic model set up for himself. He's got it pretty good. Now, you can't kill Sticky Nicky, so shooting him won't really do anything in terms of killing him. He'll still follow you. Don't waste your bullets on him unless he's trying to steal something from you. Now, what does that mean? In rounds that Sticky Nicky is, is out and about, he will be following you around the map. If you hear him laugh, you will have you know roughly five seconds to shoot him with a few bullets. If you don't, he will steal stuff from you. What can he steal? He will steal points. He will steal ammo. Or most importantly, he will steal your perks if you have them. You do not want to lose your perks to Sticky Nicky. You do not want to lose your perks to Sticky Nicky. So when you hear him laugh, you want to light him up with a few bullets. That way he won't steal anything. So make sure when Sticky Nicky is following you, you always have a loaded gun so that you can pop him if he laughs and tries to steal something from you. So as we talked about before, Sticky Nicky, the necromancer, Yes, he is out to get you at times, but he's also there to help you when he is in his shop. So like we said before, 
The shop is signified by the blue beam of light. There are three shops that he could be at, but he will be at the one and only at the one with the blue beam of light that you'll see in this next clip. But this is the interface of Sticky Nicky's store. There are five or six standard weapons that you can purchase. The assault rifle, the shotgun, the burst rifle, the auto shotgun, SMG, and the sword. These six weapons will be at Sticky Nicky's every time you go. And you'll be able to repurchase uh, ammo for each of them as well. At Sticky Nicky's, you can also purchase uh, a little bit of health or full health. You can replenish your grenades. There will always be a random perk at Sticky Nicky's. You never know what it's going to be. So on screen now is the Juggernaut perk. So this time I went to Sticky Nicky's, they had the Juggernaut perk. But it's going to be different every time. As well as the special weapon. So the special weapon here uh, at this time is the grenade launcher but the next time it could be the laser or the inferno same with the perks like the the next time you go to the shop it could be vampirism it could be speed so you have to go to the shop multiple times to get all of the special weapons and as many perks as you can in the next clip you'll see a visual of the store moving at the end of the round so the stores don't move uh during the rounds they move in between each round, the store will move to a new spot, but you have to go to Sticky Nicky's to get some gear so that you can progress further throughout the game. All right, guys, let's talk about Juicy Joe's Getaway. So once you progress through the game, I would say probably at about round 10, you can start finding Juicy Joe. Uh, the way you find him is, of course, stated before you enter one of the yellow portals. Uh, you can find her on the map. It costs probably 40, 60 essence points, and you may randomly be teleported to Juicy Joe. Now, what can Juicy Joe do for you? So at Juicy Joe's, you are able to upgrade your perks first and foremost. So you're able to upgrade your perks if you already own them. For example, let's say that I already own the Juggernaut perk. I bought it at Sticky Nicky's. At Juicy Joe's, I can spend 10,000 Essence to upgrade it, meaning the Juggernaut now has an additional power. I have more health uh, than the original. For example, on the Stamina if you get Stamina 2.0, you have the original you bought at Sticky Nicky's. You buy Stamina 2.0 at Juicy Joe's. There will be a trail of fire that goes behind you that actually hurts enemies uh, while you're running faster. So that's part of the upgrades. Each one has a different upgrade that can help you. Now, what else can you do at Juicy Joe's? A couple of things. The Replenish All button. Um, it gets pricier every time you use it. I believe it starts at 20,000 Essence. It will replenish all of your grenades, it'll give you full health, and it will replenish ammo for all of your guns, including special weapons. Once you get far enough, you'll be able to purchase the OP weapon, which is essentially just an upgrade to the pistol. So since you cannot drop the pistol, you always have the pistol with you, you can upgrade it and make it significantly more powerful by purchasing the OP weapon at Juicy Joe's. The pick me perk can really come in handy. So pay attention to this closely. If you buy the pick me perk and Sticky Nicky tries to steal one of your perks or some of your ammo, some of your points, and you don't shoot him in time, so he's going to steal something, right? Like you know you're going to lose one of your perks. When Sticky Nicky steals a perk, it's random. It could be any of them. If you have the pick me perk, Juicy Joe steals the pick me perk. It's a, it's essentially a scapegoat for all of your perks. So if you buy the pick me perk, 
sticky Nicky, you know, does his laugh and he goes to steal something from you and you don't have the time or you can't react quick enough to shoot him so he can't steal something from you, he will steal the pick me perk. So it is a scapegoat for all of your perks and items. It can come in handy uh, very much. Now, lastly, in Juicy Joe's is sell your soul. Let's say you make it uh, far enough to Juicy Joe, but you don't have enough points to, let's say, you only have 5,000 points and you have Juggernaut and you want to upgrade to Juggernaut 2.0, cost 10,000. What you can do is select sell your soul to Juicy Joe and you can purchase it for however many essence you have left and you'll essentially go into debt. So you'll go into a negative score. So, uh, you know, you can end up with negative points um, until you kill enough zombies to get back up. Um, so selling your soul can allow you to purchase one of these items that are accessible to you. If you don't have enough points, you'll just go into debt to Juicy Joe. All right, guys, there you have it. That is it for the Necrodemic tutorial. We showed you basically all there is to know about the game and how to get your score as high as possible. Now all that's left for you to do is play as much as you can, hone your skills, kill as many zombies as you can, get that score up, climb the leaderboard, and take home some awesome prizes. If you guys need any more help or have any additional questions about Necrodemic, about Believers, about anything to do with our games, please visit our Discord and one of our teammates will help you. We're so excited for you to play. Enjoy. Have fun and survive as long as you can.